Well, I think the problem with uh, newspapers is that they have the distribution, so if you wanted to advertise, you have to go through them 20 years ago. And if one, people want the local news, they have to read that. And it was limited supply. Yeah? Now, with the internet, it's unlimited supply. So their problem is that they had a monopoly of attention. Yeah? And even if there was just really bad stuff in the newspaper, they would still print the newspaper and would have monopoly. And today, if you want advertising, if you want to buy things, you go to Amazon. You don't go to the newspaper. Uh, and if you want dating, you go to Tinder, and you know you don't go to the newspaper. So they, they have lost their business case. You know they they have they have lost their reason to exist. Uh, and so the good papers like Vanguardia and, and Spain and you know the ones that are making that transition, they have to find a new case. You know, and what is their case? The Washington Post has found a new case. Uh, the Guardian has a new case. The Economist has a new case. Atlantic has a new case. You have to find a new business case. And if, if it's local media, then you have to make sure that you are unique. You know? And the successful media companies today, they don't just do newspapers. They do television, radio, events, conferences, uh, online distribution, business advice, business analytics. I think this, uh, this South African company called uh, uh, Naspers, it's a big uh, media company, 60% of their revenues are not media. They are, they're, they are like business advice for clients and... So it's converging, huh? and I think the window of saying that you are the only possibility to reach people, the window is closing, you know? except for very few big brands like the Wall Street Journal, uh, where you can chart on New York Times, you know that. But you know, a local paper is not the New York Times, so so it's completely different mechanics. the The rule of digital Darwinism, right? Digital, digital survival is that if you are dispensable, you will be dispensed. <laughs> yeah? And that, I see that all the time, even my own work. You know, if people can do without me because it's not unique enough, they will. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they find a workaround. Uh, in fact, many conferences don't book me because they can watch my YouTube. You have to ask yourself if you're dispensable. Uh, and this is, you know, the record labels are dispensable now, for example. And they haven't noticed yet. The only thing they have is the copyrights of the old songs. You know, but if you're a musician today, do you go to a record label? Not to those record labels, maybe to a small label, or like a co-op, or like a marketing label, like, like Motor Music in Germany or so. Uh, you don't need those guys because it was all about distribution, and distribution is solved. Right? So if you haven't found out that you're, you, know, you, you basically don't have a position anymore. And, and so this is something that the car companies have found out. Uh, if Mercedes-Benz and Audi and BMW don't become mobility providers, People will say, I don't need a car, so that's it, BMW, gone, yeah? just gone. And you don't realize because it's very slow and then all of a sudden it's a mass movement.